today is an amazing world because everything is at play from what the traditional record producer did to what the future of record production will be. And one of the things we talked about is that before there was recording technology, there was no real word producer. If you were Beethoven or Mozart, you conceived the symphony in your head, you had your orchestra, you knew it would be performed in a space, and you, you never separated production from the music in your head. Once recording technology was invented, what was in your head was separated from how it was recorded. And so overseeing that process is really one of the jobs of what the producer became. We are going to produce, we are going to make, we're going to manufacture this audio recording. And so in the earlier days of the business, all the jobs were more segregated, where you had a recording studio with a recording engineer and a team of people responsible for recording music. You had musicians who were responsible for writing the music and playing the music. You had the producer who was responsible for overseeing the recording, the creation of the music, and interfacing with the record company, and responsible for how that record would sound. In today's world, those lines have blurred a lot, that artists have recording studios in their houses, producers own recording studios, musicians can produce their own music. What I find is still needed is people with talent and expertise and that can oversee the global process. And the way that role of producer can change on a daily basis for me is reflecting how it changes for what a particular artist needs. The first type of artist that I tend to work with is the band. That's how most, I think, music traditionally was made. A group of people meet, they write music together, they perform it. The role of the producer traditionally then would be we need to record this band, capture their sound, interface them with the right recording studio, make them feel comfortable so they can be the band that they were meant to be, and provide an outside source of feedback as to perhaps what were their strongest songs. Was there a song that could be edited? Did it ha go on too long? Should a verse be cut? Should a chorus be doubled? It was the mechanics of music making, and most producers of that type were very skilled in understanding song structure. They were skilled in being politically correct because you wouldn't want to anger anyone in a band. They were skilled in being business people so they can interface with the, the record label. The next type of uh, production would be for the, let's say, the singer-songwriter who doesn't have a band at their disposal. And it's more than just putting them in a recording studio. We need to find musicians for them that could help facilitate the musical creation that's in their head and get it to come out of the speakers. Well, that's more of the, the role that the producer slash musician slash engineer phenomenon, of which I am one, has uh, arisen out of. Because the hat that we need to wear on a daily basis changes from the different aspects of the job we need to do. So if you're a singer, you're a songwriter, you come to me with a song, well, the first thing we do is a traditional analysis as the traditional producer I described would have done. We look at the structure. We look at the tempo. We look at the key. Is it in the right key for the vocalist? We look at a whole bunch of things, and from my perspective, hopefully not in a dysfunctional way, but as an objective outsider presenting to the artist, have you thought about this? Have you considered that? And the beautiful part of today's technology is if we want to hear a song faster, slower, in a different key, we can do that very easily. Um, the next thing I would then need to help the artist do is perhaps what I would call pre-production. Before we go into the traditional, okay, let's say an artist needed an orchestra. Well, to write out an orchestral score, hire an orchestra, book a large studio, that would, might cost tens of thousands of dollars. Let's see if we're going down the right path. Uh, that was something that wasn't open to us uh, many, many years ago. So. Here on uh, my keyboard, I have set up one of the, the new orchestral libraries that can run upwards of $10,000, but compared to $20,000 for hiring an orchestra, it's quite a saving. So, it would take me a long time to write that out as a score. But if you were my artist and you wanted to find out how strings might sound on your next record, it could save you a lot of money, save us a lot of time, and a lot of aggravation. I still believe as a producer who grew up in the old school and still is very much 
excited by the new school of production. I think that there are places for both. I still love real musicians and the real orchestra, but to have that at your fingertips is an amazing advantage.